Hi everybody, we continue with our Halloween season and today we're going to make an easy and fast recipe. Spider chocolate truffles that are very fun and very tasty. The first thing we'll do is melt the chocolate in a bain-marie. When it's almost melted, add the whipping cream and stir until the chocolate is completely melted. Remove from heat and let it cool about 15 minutes. Place in a container or a plate and cover with plastic wrap or with its own lid. Refrigerate about 45 minutes or until firm and cold enough to work with. Meanwhile, melt the chocolate for the spider's legs in a bain-marie. Once it's melted, let it cool a little and when it is warm, put it in a pastry bag with a little round tip or simply cut a bit to make a small opening. In a tray with baking paper, make L-shaped legs. If the chocolate hardens, it must be remelted. When they are ready, store them in the fridge. It is better to make more in case some of them break. If you have leftover legs, they can be remelted to make any recipe. We're going to cover the truffles with Oreo cookies to give them a furry look. For this, we take out the cream of the Oreos and grind the cookies until we get fine crumbs. When the chocolate mixture is cold, with a mellow spoon, take a portion with your hands and shape it into little balls. We pass them over the cookie crumbs until they're all covered and put them on a baking paper. You have to work fast so the chocolate doesn't melt. The next thing is to put the legs. In some spiders I put eight and in others six, but you can put as many as you want. If the truffles are melted, we will cool them a little in the fridge before inserting the legs. Finally, we put the eyes. You can see how to make the eyes in our video of how to decorate cookies for Halloween. To glue the eyes, we'll use melted chocolate. Now we got a terrifying and yummy dessert that for sure is gonna be a success on your Halloween party. Remember to keep them in the fridge and that's all for today. See you next time.